Hey everyone, Matt here, welcome to tonight's episode. Today I am showing you around this six bedroom detached home here in Wimbledon, London. It's on the market for 4.25 million pounds with Daniel from Finer Country Wimbledon. It has an amazing entertainment floor on the basement and some really cool features. So let's start the tour outside at this area. You've got parking for two cars here and it's summer. If you turn around face that way, you can see the aesthetic of the street, some lovely properties surrounding you. We're actually around five minutes away from the famous Wimbledon tennis, which a lot of you guys will know, but I'll put a map on the screen here of exactly where we are so you can get a better idea. So from the front, we have access around here into the garden, but we'll show you the garden through the main house. All right, let's go inside. So this six bedroom property is around 4,600 square feet. Before we get into the tour, I'll put the floor plan on the screen here so you can get your bearings. Starting on the ground floor, we're gonna go into the main living room first. Into the lounge then, we'll put the measurements on the screen of every room. And what I'll also do is pop up a CGI here so you can see what this room would look like completely furnished. There's a fireplace in the middle, two Juliet balcony doors at the front of the property. And then at the back, you've got a big sliding door which opens onto a terrace and then the garden. Fun fact, a Chelsea player has actually recently just moved out of this property and was renting it for 16,000 pounds per month. Obviously can't say what player, but there you go. Continuing the tour then. From the hallway, we've got the storage space. And into the main kitchen dining family area. I'll shut those doors because there's a bit of building work next door. So, gigantic island with lots of space for bar stalls around the side. This home is only a couple of years old, so everything still feels very new. In the island, you've got loads of storage, sort of sliding doors, dishwashers in the island, and Mila dishwasher. And then you've got lots of space through here as well. There's a Miele induction hob and an extractor built into the units. Then over this side, you've got the four Miele ovens. I assume one maybe microwave or grill. That's microwave. That's microwave. Okay, this side, what have we got? Wait, how does this open? Ah, yep, yeah, there's a the freezer. More cupboard space. And this side then is going to be the fridge. There we go. The sink is in the island as well with a instant hot tap. So let's continue the tour back to the main entrance and we're gonna go check out the basement next. So before we do that, you've got one of the downstairs WCs there. Head down. Now this is the utility. So obviously space for wash and dry and keeps it all separate from the main kitchen. Now into this next room, you're gonna to have to use your imagination again with the furnishings, but I will put up the CGI so you can see on screen what it could look like. It would work well as a cinema room. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You've got the added benefit of being slightly lower, so cozy. Now this space is an L shape. Again, the measurements will be on screen. You could do what you like here. So whether it's a games room, you know, if you have a cinema in the other space. Maybe this could be a gym room. Yeah, gym room, good idea. From here, you've got access out to a terrace and then steps up to your rear garden. As you can see. We'll check out the garden at the end of the tour. Yes. So back through these double doors, we're going to the side by the stairs that we came down. And then a couple more rooms to show you've got a, another WC and a storage space. That's just a storage cupboard through there. Thoughts so far, guys? Let us know in the comments below what you think, what you would, how you would furnish this home and maybe what you would use that downstairs area for. Now we're going to go up to the first floor and show you the bedrooms. 
We have some tall windows and stairs to help bring more natural light in, which is good. And I do like these LEDs at the stairs. Okay, so onto the first floor then. From here, we have three bedrooms, including the principal bedroom. First bedroom we're gonna see is at the front. I'll just quickly show you this window, sort of like a gallery landing. So this bedroom, we'll put the measurements on the screen again. All bedrooms are double rooms and all carpeted everywhere in that house is, everywhere else in the house is hard floor. And you also have two Juliet balconies looking out the front of the house. Okay, in terms of technology, I believe you've got the heating controls in the rooms and the light switches, but you can't control everything from your phone on this particular one. This is the main family bathroom. You've got a separate bath and shower in here. Wait to see the ensuite though. That's even bigger and better than that bathroom. This is the next bedroom. So this isn't the main bedroom yet. This faces the rear of the property. Again, you've got two Juliet balconies and the measurements will be on screen as well as a CGI. Here's a quick look of the back garden. I can actually see a squirrel down there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to show the main bedroom. You have double doors through here. Let's show the bedroom area first. So you can already see quite a bit bigger than the other rooms. Instead of just two Juliet balconies, you have three. Then you also have all of this built-in wardrobe space. Combination of shelving and hanging rails. All right, let's see the ensuite. Tell you what, it does feel quite high in here. I just took a look out of there and you can start to see across Wimbledon. So I'm sure when we go up to the next floor, you'll have a good view. Here we go. This is obviously ignore the scaffolding because the next property is being built. Come on in. So in here we have a big freestanding bath, feature wall area across this side with LED lights built in. And then the shower actually goes all the way around. It's a big shower. with frosted glass at the end for privacy, of course. Over here, we've got the dual sinks and the LED mirror. I quite like that these are set in to the unit. And then you've got lots of storage space in there. We don't have the brief on the exact materials that are in here. That's why I haven't mentioned them. All right, so two, uh, some more bedrooms to see. Let's go up to the second floor. Here we are, so there's a three further bedrooms up here, so three bedrooms on each floor. You almost have another main bedroom through here in terms of size, ensuite, and everything. So check that out first. You've got the bath and the shower. A couple of skylights in there as well. now into the bedroom. As mentioned, you do feel quite high up here. You can see all the way across Wimbledon, both sides. So next bedroom through here. Again, using your imagination, taking in the CGI's that we've got on screen to imagine this place with furniture. The family bathroom through here, which is very similar to the one on the second floor. Now we have the last bedroom through there. All right, so that's our main tour of this house. Now let's go see the garden area, take a look back um, at the property from the rear and see what we've got. Okay. You join us outside now. And what you'll notice if you pan around is that there's two similar properties there built by the same developer and those are slightly bigger though and you can come back and take a look at the property from the back and this is your lawn area 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure to like the video if you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We have a lots of uh, new house tours coming your way. We'll see you guys in the next video.